the geographia. पासवान एनडी राष्ट्र विद्यालय का अध्यापक हूँ हिंदी का अध्यापक हूँ मैं अपने वरिष्ठ शिक्षकों और अपने मित्रों के साथ जो हमारे शिक्षक बंधु हैं जो टूर ऑर्गेनाइज करते हैं जिनमें हैं श्री राजेश कुमार जी जिन्हें हम लोग प्रेम से डॉक्टर साहब कहते हैं धनंजय कुमार जी विजय ठाकुर जी और हमारे सुपीरियर जो हैं श्री गिरीश सिंह जी के नेतृत्व में आज हम लोग सुंदरबन के भ्रमण पर आए हैं आज हम लोग जो है गोसावा के इस रेस्ट हाउस में ठहरे हुए हैं ये आप सामने ही देखते हैं टाइगर रिजर्व है और टाइगर रिजर्व हम लोग अभी देखने के लिए जाएंगे तो बहुत अच्छा फील हो रहा है यहाँ का मनोरंजन दृश्य देखने में बहुत अच्छा लगा ऐसी जगहों पर है ना बार बार आना हम लोग चाहेंगे अभी अभी सुबह हम लोग सुंदरबन के लिए निकल रहे हैं मेरे पापा के स्कूल की तरफ से आई हूँ टूर पे सुंदरवन का टूर है आज हमारा फर्स्ट डे होगा टूर का और आज हम लोग सुंदरवन के कोल एरिया में जाएंगे और बाघों को देखेंगे प्रकृति का मजा लेंगे का ही आपका पहला एक्सपीरियंस हाँ मेरा पहला अपर जो टॉप मोस्ट लेयर है 
उसको पकड़ के रखा है Five channels are meeting here. One from where we are coming. Two, three this side. Four straight way. And five this way. There are five channels meeting here. Thank you.
Water <laughs> level going rise. Gradually, the land marsh, which is visible, about two, two to three feet only, and after a few. Hours. All landmarks will be invisible and high tide water and due to high tide water the landmass will be submerged under the water. Almost all root portion of Sundari tree will be submerged and remaining stem portion of the vegetation will be visible over the submerged water. This activity or this low tide or high tide activities or occurrences or natural event is responsible for creating this kind of Sundarban Delta. Gamla, Gamla, Gamla. You could have Oh, Jale, Jale,
good afternoon. We are here in the Sundarban Delta, which is the biggest delta in the world. It is the part of located in West Bengal. Okay. Uh, today we had a special guest from uh, Asansol. Uh, say something. A very good afternoon to everyone. I am Shushi Singh. Today we are up here. We came here to enjoy a special trip to Sundarban, which is the biggest delta in the world. So, as you can see, there is a uh, there is a special kind of uh, uh, geography which is present here, in which uh, there are saline waters present. And during high tide, what happens? The water level raises up, and uh, as a result of the roots of the sundari trees, uh, which are present here, and that's why the name Sundarban. They in spite, instead of growing downwards, they get uprooted so that they can breathe. Because in saline water, the BOD, which is the biological oxygen demand, that gets lessened. So, in order to acquire more and more oxygen, they just go up, upwards, which is a very special quality of the roots. And uh, the trees are called Sundri trees. And you can take a look there. Yes. Are also called the mangrove trees. Yes. If you have any special kind of uh, experience, then you can share. The trees are very eye catching because these are very special. These are not found in natural, uh, normal uh, ecological diversity in which we live. So, and the Royal Bengal tiger, which is present here, is again a very special thing by nature. And uh, the trees are very special. That's what I have. Okay. Sundar so one is also famous for the very hot sport by the under the UNESCO ecological site, Tiger, Sundari tree, and muddy water are uh, main characteristics of uh, Nova Delta. And what is the future of this Delta? Because so many human activities is going there, and uh, due to human activities, anthropological activities. The existence of this part of the Sundar Delta is in trouble. What is your thoughts about it? So, as far as the future of the Sundarbans and the mangrove forest is concerned, uh, it, it is totally dependent upon the humans, which is the uh, which is considered to be the most intelligent species in the world. Now, as far as as we know that there is a lot of pollution, be it air pollution, be it noise pollution, sound pollution, anything. The trees are totally declining due to deforestation and all. And uh, to protect this particular Sundarban area, the government has also taken a very good step of not uh, planting any uh, communication towers or anything so that uh, to, because they will get disturbed. The, the trees, the plantation will get disturbed. So that is again a very good thing to protect. And as far as the, uh, the, the cl natural calamity is concerned, the forests are declining. So to protect the greenery around us, uh, Sundarban should be protected. Yeah, and uh, efforts from the government side is also going on. Thank you so much, Sisti, for uh, giving your opinion regarding some valuable uh, things. We have another uh, guest. My name is Fatih and I am a class 8 student. I think you are here uh, first time. Yeah, it's my first time here. Yeah, okay. Uh, in the front, uh, in the back side of Swati, we can see a channel of uh, saline water which is connected with the uh, Air Bengal and it is a part of the Sundarban Delta. Okay? Uh, we can see in the background scene a part of the mangroves vacation. Okay? What is your opinion regarding this? How This mangrove tree has grown up. If, uh, we, if we want to plant this mangrove plant in our home, we, it can't sustain. Yeah, why? Just because uh, how much quantity of saline it needs, they can find it here only. If we are going to mix so, uh, salt in, the, in our soil, then I'm not. I didn't think that it will. Grow. Uh, we can see uh, lots of muddy water uh, soil is here. Which is, uh, which is highly helpful for the growing of uh, for the mangroves uh, vegetation. Okay, is it possible to uh, develop in our uh, no, we can't. We can't. Yeah. Just because uh, due to the saline water only the uh, soil is like that. 
this much forest in which this mangrove has been grown. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the first time, and I'm enjoying a lot after coming here. And I'm trying to uh, see a tiger, but I can't till now. Because tiger is not available here. The biggest number of tiger is uh, uh, living here. Okay, and tiger also come in our endangered species act. This part of Delta is uh, very western end of the portion of uh, And if we will go towards the eastern side, which is uh, extending up to Bangladesh border, there are lots of tigers here. Most of the Royal Bengal tigers find here only in Sundarbans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and another way, only I think that, and I've heard also that, most of the tiger exist in India, mainly in Sundar. Yeah. I have heard about it. Yeah. And uh, the two things uh, is very important to know that, that. One thing is that tiger can swim in this water. You know? Yeah, I know. Royal Bengal tiger can swim in this water. Yeah. And another thing is that Royal Bengal tiger can swim up in the country. You know? Yeah. I know that. Yeah. And I have uh, studied about this in my class. Yeah. In First journey, like I have traveled so much distance by a uh, waterway. Waterway is unique and amazing as it gives us the experience of fresh air, seeing water all around. In the hustle and busy life, we never find so much mental peace. But in traveling through these waterways and such a long distance, by such a slow speed, we can feel the nature by our heart and it, it calms the mind very soon.
the Geographia.